Can scientists offer us a logical explanation for everything that archaeologists found? The short answer is no. The long answer is also no, though it comes with a few qualifications. Scientists will always try to make sense of findings based on the data they have, but sometimes there are holes in what they know. What you're about to see in this video exists squarely within those gaps. Number 15. Oklahoma Mysterious Iron Cup Back in the not-so-good old days of 1912, this deeply puzzling artifact surfaced from a coal mine in Oklahoma. It is an iron cup embedded within a solid chunk of coal. But what makes it mysterious isn't its shape, but its age. This iron cup is believed to be approximately 300 million years old. The finder, Frank J. Kennard, provided an account of the discovery. But his story remains the only documentation, leaving it vulnerable to doubt due to its lack of scientific corroboration and the mysterious disappearance of the object itself. Various theories have emerged to explain how the cup became encased, including the idea that it settled in mineral-rich water that later hardened into coal. Researcher Mark Isaac noted the artifact resembled cast iron and suggested it might have been a tool from the 1700s, perhaps used by a tinner or a bullet caster. Regardless of the explanations proposed by skeptics, none sufficiently clarify how a manufactured object ended up within such ancient material. The mystery remains, often cited as a direct contradiction to established archaeological and historical timelines. Number 14. Inca Camaña Often referred to as the Inca's Rest, Inca Camaña is a stone-carved formation located in Cusco, Peru. Its origin and purpose have long puzzled archaeologists and historians. The site consists of an elevated platform made from meticulously sculpted stone, with a short stairway leading up to it. It's believed that Incan rulers may have used this site during ceremonies or rituals of significance. Etched into the platform are carvings of various animals, plants, and geometric figures, though their meaning remains debated. Some researchers think these markings may relate to the Incan calendar or cosmological knowledge. The structure also contains a small carved hole precisely aligned with the June solstice, leading to speculation that the platform may have been used to observe astronomical events. Despite its mystery, Inca Camaña stands as a preserved remnant of Incan culture, still accessible to visitors in Cusco. Its construction reflects the architectural precision and cultural richness of the Incan Empire, which we can't explain. Number 13. Belevi Mausoleum The Belevi Mausoleum is a major archaeological monument in Turkey, regarded as the second largest mausoleum in Anatolia, eclipsed only by the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. This imposing tomb from the Hellenistic era is situated near Selçuk in the Aegean region of Izmir, roughly 20 miles from Kushadasa. It may have originally been constructed for either Antigonus Monophthalmus or Lysimachus, two key figures from the Hellenistic world. Another possibility is that it became the burial site of Antiochus II Theos, a Seleucid ruler. Despite its clear historical relevance, scholars remain divided over the structure's exact origin and intended use. Its layout and architectural features bear strong similarities to those of Halicarnassus, adding to its cultural importance. Though its appearance suggests a funerary purpose, there is no hard evidence that anyone was ever entombed there. For that reason, some believe it was never used as a mausoleum at all. Its design alone doesn't guarantee its function, and the debate continues. Number 12. Polovtsian Stone Idols the Polovtsian stone figures, aka stone idols or anthropomorphic stele, are mysterious ancient statues scattered across parts of Russia, Mongolia, Central Asia, Germany, Southern Siberia, and Ukraine. Most depict male warriors clad in armor and helmets, while female figures appear with purses and headwear. Their origin and meaning remain elusive. The tradition of erecting these statues dates as far back as the 4th millennium BCE during the Bronze Age and was later adopted by cultures like the Sumerians, Scythians, and early Turks. 
Skilled artisans shaped these figures from both stone and wood, often placing them atop ancient burial mounds called kurgans. Some scholars suggest they held spiritual or political significance. The practice eventually faded after the fall of the Palavtsians and the spread of Islam across the region. Though largely ignored outside specialist circles, these statues represent a vast yet underappreciated heritage. Their preservation is vital to understanding Central Asia's complex early history. Number 11. Niebster Broch. Niebster Broch, situated near Kais in Scotland, is a significant coastal site reflecting the region's deep archaeological layers. This seaside promontory hosts a large circular structure along with a series of small adjoining buildings, all encircled by a defensive wall. The initial excavation was led by Francis Tress Barry between 1895 and 1896, with further studies conducted in the early 2000s. The oldest construction at the site, a defensive rampart, is believed to date back to the Middle Bronze Age and early centuries of the Common Era. The roundhouse at the core features an interior 20 feet wide, with walls unusually thick in proportion to its small interior, making it the most extreme known wall-to-diameter ratio among Atlantic roundhouses. Though compact, it's clear the site had strategic importance. Outbuildings from the late Iron Age indicate a village clustered around the brosh. Artifacts found, including bones, ceramics, and Roman goods, suggest food preparation, domestic life, and high social status. But now one knows the full story. Number 10. Pella Curse Tablet The phrase ancient curse usually brings ominous ideas to mind, but not all were written out. Of hatred. Consider the Pella Curse Tablet, which was named after the city of its discovery in Macedonia in 1986. Despite its dark title, scholars believe it to be a romantic spell. It's believed to have been written by a woman named Dagina, who wished to make a man named Dionysophon fall in love with her. Inscribed on a lead scroll in the Doric Greek dialect, the scroll is dated to around 2,400 years old. Apart from the emotional appeal, the scroll is valuable for its linguistic evidence, indicating that ancient Macedonian was a dialect of northwestern Greek. Dagina wrote that she wanted Dionysophon to marry her rather than a woman named Thetima, and that she hoped to grow old with him, unless she returned to dig up and unroll the scroll. Though her intentions were heartfelt, she still included a way out in case she changed her mind. Number 9. Footprints at Ain Dara Among Syria's ancient temples, the site at Ain Dara holds a unique magnetism, largely due to two massive human-like footprints carved into its stone threshold. The temple, believed to be over 3,300 years old, has drawn attention not only for its architectural beauty, but also for these oversized imprints. Scholars argue the carvings were symbolic, representing divine figures entering the sacred space. However, regional legends tell a different story, that a god with clawed feet physically walked there, leaving marks behind. Others claim the builders were giants, pointing to the prince as leftover proof. Theories vary, but all agree the carvings have been in place since the temple's earliest construction. Tragically, the site suffered heavy damage during a Turkish airstrike in 2018. While much was lost, the famous footprints survived. They continue to provoke debate and fascination, serving as cryptic reminders of the myths, beliefs, and monumental craftsmanship that once defined the ancient Near East. Number 8. Missouri Stone Circle The Missouri Stone Circle, a prehistoric structure located in Morocco, has fascinated archaeologists for decades. The circle contains 168 large stones, arranged in a deliberate formation, with the tallest standing more than 15 feet high. Experts estimate the site dates back over 9,000 years, placing it among the earliest stone circles ever recorded. Despite its age, many of the stones retain intricate carvings and engravings, still visible today. The purpose behind its construction remains unclear. 
Some researchers think it may have served an astronomical role, while others believe it played a part in spiritual or ceremonial practices. Another theory suggests the site functioned as a seasonal marker or communal gathering place. Found in a remote part of Morocco, the circle has drawn international interest. Ongoing preservation efforts aim to maintain its structure. Whether ritualistic, scientific, or social, the Missouri Circle stands as a silent record of an ancient culture's design and intention. Number 7. Elephant Carvings in Fontainebleau Inn The dense forest of Fontainebleau is a series of puzzling rock carvings that have confounded researchers for decades. The area is filled with mysterious cave art, including depictions of three-fingered humanoid shapes and markings placed in spots too tight for people to have easily reached. What's especially baffling is a group of stone carvings clearly showing animals like elephants, creatures that have never been native to France. These works are believed to be roughly 1,000 years old, yet they show a level of anatomical understanding that suggests first-hand knowledge. How could these people know what elephants looked like? And more importantly, how did they manage to sculpt such accurate figures using crude tools? Alongside the carvings, there are written symbols etched into stone, but the script remains undeciphered. Without a clear timeline or translation, the forest's carvings remain one of Europe's most curious archaeological mysteries, one that defies easy classification or scientific explanation. Number 6. Mongol-era Octagonal Tomb We now head to China, where an unusually shaped octagonal tomb from the Mongol era was discovered in Yangang Quan, built roughly 700 years ago. Inside, the murals reveal disturbing and symbolic tales. The tomb's pyramid-like ceiling features standard celestial depictions of the sun, moon, and stars. But one wall scene portrays parents seemingly burying their child alive. Additional murals show people wearing Mongol dress rather than the traditional Chinese clothing of the time. While grim at first glance, the child burial scene might reflect the ancient Chinese parable of Guo Zhu. In the story, Guo and his wife care for both their son and Guo's ailing mother, but with limited resources, they choose to sacrifice their child to save his grandmother. Moved by their act, the gods reward them with a trove of gold discovered while digging a well. Rich and grateful, they rescue their child and live in peace. A strange legend, yet deeply rooted. Number 5. The Granite Stone Coffer Within the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid of Giza sits a granite coffer, often mischaracterized as a sarcophagus. It's the chamber's only interior feature and has likely remained in place for over 4,500 years. What makes the coffer especially puzzling is that it was too large to pass through the pyramid's passageways, suggesting it was placed before the chamber was sealed. Unlike the limestone used for the surrounding chamber walls, the coffer is hewn from granite, hinting at deliberate selection and significance. Yet despite its weight and central placement, there's no indication it ever contained human remains. It also wasn't constructed on site, nor does it appear to have been assembled in parts. The effort required to position it implies serious intent, but its function is still undetermined. Was it ceremonial? Symbolic? Something else entirely? Its presence continues to challenge modern understanding of the pyramid's purpose, leaving more speculation than resolution in its wake. Number 4. Bernardo de Galvez Hotel Portrait Bernardo de Galvez, a Spanish general who supported the American colonies during the Revolutionary War, is honored by the city of Galveston, Texas. In the early 20th century, the Hotel Galvez was named after him, and a large portrait of the general was hung at the end of a main hallway. Since then, guests have repeatedly reported strange experiences. Many say the eyes of the painting follow them, and the air around it remains noticeably colder than elsewhere in the building. The painting reportedly refuses to be photographed clearly. Images often appear blurry or contain unexplained haze. Some visitors claim the only way to capture a clear image is by politely asking Bernardo for permission first. While it's easy to dismiss this as urban myth, 
the stories persist. Management keeps the painting in place, fully aware of the tales. Paranormal or not, the portrait's unsettling presence continues to attract curious guests and skeptics alike. Number 3. The Lost Temple of Artemis in Greece Back in 2017, archaeologists confirmed the discovery of the long-lost sanctuary of Artemis Amarinthia on the Greek island of Euboea. A few months after the announcement, doubts were raised that the team had spoken too soon, but they were fortunate. In 2018, further discoveries supported their initial claim. Excavators uncovered two distinct galleries marking the temple's structure from both the eastern and northern sides, along with the remains of a sacred spring. These new finds complemented the 2017 discoveries, including the temple's altar, a copper quartz religious figurine, and most crucially, shattered remnants of a statue of Artemis. A newly discovered base in 2018 bore inscriptions naming Artemis, Leto, and Apollo. The reason this site remained elusive for so long is due to its near-total destruction around 2,100 years ago. Curiously, however, there's clear evidence that religious activities continued among the ruins for at least three centuries afterward, suggesting the area may have remained sacred long after its downfall. Number 2. Ring of Sinicianus When J.R.R. Tolkien created the One Ring, he may have drawn inspiration from a real artifact, the Ring of Sinicianus and its curse tablet. The ring, despite its name, originally belonged to a man named Silvianus. Around 1,600 years ago, Silvianus accused Sinicianus of stealing it. Enraged, he consulted local mystics and commissioned a curse against not only Sinicianus, but anyone else who might possess the ring. He had the malediction inscribed on a lead tablet, asking the gods to punish the thief with illness until the item was returned. The ring eventually surfaced in England and now belongs to the British National Trust. It's displayed at the Vine, a Tudor estate in Hampshire. Although the curse's exact effects remain unknown, the ring itself carries an eerie inscription. Senicianus, may you live with God. Silvianus even vowed half the ring's value to a temple as spiritual leverage. Whether divine justice followed remains lost to history. Number 1. Coldstream Stone Some claim the Coldstream Stone might be the oldest artwork ever discovered. Found over a century ago in a rock shelter along South Africa's Lottering River, the stone features a simple painted scene of three human figures, each in a different hue, possibly engaged in a hunt. It may have once shown more, but being buried two feet underground in damp, warm soil likely erased parts of the image. Miraculously, portions of the paint endured despite erosion. The Sand People, ancient hunter-gatherers whose lineage stretches back over 40,000 years, are considered the most probable creators. While the painting's age and origins are compelling, its condition has fueled debate. Some believe the stone was deliberately buried closer to modern times to fake its antiquity. So far, there's no firm consensus. Whether genuine or hoax, the Coldstream Stone stirs strong opinions, seen by some as a rare link to humanity's earliest artistic expression, and by others as an elaborate misdirection. If you've enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon in the next one.